I'm gonna bring my game. Yeah, you better. I'm going to make those pastries pay. But they're sweet. We're Chris and Melissa. Back in 2020, we left our empty nest to embark on a slow travel adventure, living in 12 cities in 12 months. This month, we're staying in Lévis, Quebec, in a house just across the St. Lawrence River from Quebec City. Pastries are kind of a big deal here, so we're checking out three top-notch bakeries to see if we can find the best sweet. As we travel, we like to find the best bakeries in the area to go to. And ideally, you know, one single awesome bakery that we would be regulars at if we moved to the area. When I was doing research for Quebec City, there were three that people raved about. Oh, this one's the best bakery in the world. Oh, this one's the best one in Quebec City. Oh, this one's the best in Quebec. Well, how can the one like that's the best in the world be not as good as the one that's the best in Quebec? So. I'm not really sure which place to recommend as the best one or which one we would go to unless we do some serious testing. I've got the skills to test this kind of stuff. So we are going to do this, but we are going to spread this out over three days. And thankfully, it's a bit of a workout to get over to Quebec City. I'm going to bring my game. Yeah, you better. I'm going to make those pastries pay. But they're sweet. Oh, yes. And probably kind of adorable. And I will eat them and judge them. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's go. I'm going to enjoy them. <laughs> we are living in La Vique, and all of these places are across the St. Lawrence River in Quebec City. To get to said trees, we have to take a ferry or swim <laughs> or drive all the way around, which takes like a half an hour to even get around. Uh, I made a mistake. I did not check the ferry times. We're walking up to the ferry station. Check it out. Look at that. Wait, <laughs> wait. So we are gonna have to wait, I guess. Fortunately, it's a nice ferry station. It's cozy warm, so mm -hmm. we'll be fine. There you go. Uh, you. Mercy. Okay, so it's about a 15 minute walk to the pastries? Yes. All uphill. <laughs> Pretty much. So we just climbed about 150 flights of stairs. Ha, ha. And then we've got this big hill. <laughs> so we can eat plenty of pastries. No worries. I thought we were gonna high five. No worries. <laughs> When we get all through this, we get to go down all these stairs. But then we take the ferry across and we gotta go way up the stairs again. So they say Quebec City is a lot like Europe. Yeah, it's considered the most European city in North America. Okay, so I think what we're gonna have to do is maybe go to Europe and decide for ourselves. Oh yeah, for sure. What do you think? I'm game. Okay.
that was our first place. I was pretty impressed. It was very delicious. Great atmosphere. The music was fun. Yeah, they had an accordion player. I felt like I was in France. Well, I don't know if the next place can match that place. We'll have to see. We will have to see. Thumb up. Oh. That is why I got two pastries. The number of <laughs> stairs we have. Okay, let's do this. Here we go. Oh, there's more. You know, it's nice to have these kind of obstacles in the way so that if you want to go enjoy things and do things that probably aren't the best for you, you gotta walk the stairs. <sighs> okay, until the next street. I'm not gonna eat it. <laughs> what I'm trying to do is to try one of these, uh, what do they call them? Like escargots de uh, raisins? Escargots de raisins. What she said. Mm, it's good. It's got raisins, so it's healthy. <laughs> that was a definite thumb up of them. Oh my goodness. I'm speechless, but until now. The, the strawberry croissant. Mm -hmm. you, she even shared some with me. I'm, I'm so glad you did. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> well, I took a bite of your Danish. It was good stuff, so yes, definitely go here. Definitely. We are headed to Le Poit Pan. It's the third bakery. Do you think it's going to be amazing? Well, it's on the top of the list. It's probably amazing, so. I hope so. I did pick out these three places with care. She's got great research skills. So <laughs> we're headed down to the ferry because we got to go over the river to get to uh, <laughs> to get to Quebec City. It, we've been to so many places. I don't even know where we are. What I love is we have to go over the river and through the town <laughs> to, uh, to the great bakery we go. I haven't had breakfast yet. Neither have I. I had a couple of cashews. So did I. So I can't wait to get there. But when we get over the river, it's like a mile walk, so we are very dedicated to this. We have a 33 minute walk according to our maps app. And we're gonna take the hills just because a good workout means more tasty pastries, okay? Yes. Yeah, that should be the end of going uphill for a while. One pastry earned for me. Here it is, La Boite au Pain. Oh yes, good job. Oh, 
It's so pretty and fluffy. I wanted to make it top. Like you do the donuts. Did you just make the donut talk? How are you? <laughs> I'm a great donut. I'm from Combo Donuts. They do a good job. It's just a little different. I don't, I don't think it works. I think it is maybe too sophisticated. If you started having, if you started having croissants talk, we couldn't call it Donut Peter anymore. So, sorry. And, hmm. I've been doing these raisin and hoodie foam thing. At other places, it's called. Uh, Escargot or raisin. Here it was called something else, but I think it's the same thing. It looks like a little bit of crunchiness at the top here, soft in the middle. I love pastries. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna eat this. Is it like the same as the other ones or is it different? Because it didn't have a different name. It's the same. Okay. It's the same. So far. So this is a rare time where Melissa got two treats, and I only got one. I must be rubbing off on it. It's all about the frapping. I first heard about a frapping when we were living in Whistler. They've been around for a while, but that was the first time I heard of them, and I could not find one. I wasn't expecting to find one today, but here it is. You didn't get it. It's croissant and muffin. So I'm together. I'm so excited. We're gonna share some of that, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Does it taste more like a muffin or more like a croissant? It tastes beautiful. It's I, I taste the croissant. And I taste the caramel muffin, not so much. I think it's more to do with the muffin shape than like muffin. So it's its own thing. Mm -hmm. It's really good. I'll share with you in a minute. Mm. That was better than mine. I should have got a croffin. Doesn't it taste like pure happiness? It does. Oh wow. I'm glad you wanted to find a croffin because they are amazing. If Joie de Vie had a taste, I would be it. We should go get more. Maybe. Do you have a favorite? That is so tough because all of them were delicious and wonderful in their own ways. Plus they cheated by having different things like the strawberry croissant at um, was, was was fantastic. Uh, the croffin? I'm glad I, I stuck with that pursuit. Yeah, the Cruffin ended up being my favorite thing. It's the last thing I had of all three places. Like, so if I had to go, oh, let's go get the, my most favorite pastry so far in Quebec City, I'd come here and get that. But you can't go wrong in all three places. It's good, tasty, quality pastries. You can't go wrong. Yeah, and it's a good thing there are a lot of stairs in this city. Uh, that's most definitely a thumb up above the adventure. Pastries and treats in Quebec City. Okay. I've been looking for other amazing things to eat and do. Look on over this way. You can do that way too. <laughs>